Hey everyone, Matt here. So today is April 25th and we're going to be continuing on with our swarm prevention methods. Um, so today we're going to be artificially swarming the queen out of the lands east and the lands west hive and then putting them into the purple hive here and the blue hive there. So hopefully today goes a little bit better than it did yesterday and uh, hopefully a little bit more quicker. So let's uh, get started with it. So let's do the lands west first. Hopefully we can find this queen right away. <laughs> no, no dilly dallying like last time, like yesterday. Let's see. Let's find out. So this is all full with nectar. See how shiny it is there? Some patches of pollen there intermingled in it and this side they're just starting to uh, put some nectar on that side but it's empty other than that let's throw this back in here so I would like to find hopefully her on some of these uh, old conversion frames because I could take those out eventually I want to make this into an actual lands hive proper uh, a lot of drone brood there well it's all drone brood down here nectar and honey at the top Let's sit on this side same on this side you can see a, a bunch of larvae and stuff in there but the cells seem to be drone size so that's probably not a good one to take over. Close that up. Let's see this. Oh, got a little. Use a little profilus here to plug this one hole here. Let's get that off there. some little brood some brood on that side so I do see new eggs young larvae to the queen on that one and on this side, some new new larvae in here. Still a lot of pollen or uh, bee bread there packed in. Oops, here here. Let's throw that back in there. Okay, let's see how many ones. This is one of those big, deep conversion frames. Yowzers. She laid that up pretty good. And on this side... I don't see her on this side. What on this side? Yeah, look at that big... Bunch of worker brood. It's all really dark, so it's gonna hatch soon here. So this would be a good frame to stick over there. And then it does have like a a ring there that seemed to have some nectar in it, and so there must have been some resources that were there when she was laying it out. So she had to skip those cells. So I don't see her on this. But that is definitely a good one to take over there. Just throw this back in here till we find her. Well, that's definitely one. There we go. Let's try this next one. 
which is another um, conversion frame, but a medium this time. Whoops, sorry. Oh. Lots of cat brood on here. Some new larvae right there. Yeah, don't see the queen. So just five frames left. Ugh. Another medium conversion frame. Lots of young larvae there. They're putting in fresh nectar over here and up here. Some new drone, cap drone brood there. This does look like it's all just been laid out here. There's a bunch of, uh, just a bunch of eggs right here. So sh we could be getting close. Let's see on this side. Uh... No, sir. No, sir. So one more conversion frame to go. And this is, I think I put this one in this year, just a little bit ago for some worker cells. Oh, and here she is. Oh, and she's not marked. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so she's right there. And... She does have a little... A little red tinge to her, so she's probably did... Was marked at one point, but they cleaned it off. So I'm just going to transfer her right over to the... The other hive there. We'll just run over. Actually, I changed my mind. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take over this other frame like, like I talked about that was really full of a lot of brood that was about to hatch. And then I will put her on this one because this one has a whole bunch of new eggs and larvae. So I'd rather leave the, the eggs and larvae in the old colony so they can make some uh, brood. So this is that frame. This one I'm gonna go put in there. That's the one that has all that capped brood that's gonna hatch out. Let's go put it in there. So I did put her in there and I shaked all of these worker bees off into that colony. Oops. So let's uh, put this back where it was, which was right here. Let's just bend this back, this wire. Okay, we'll put this back in there for right now. And then I'll grab another frame that has a bunch of nurse bees on it. I think this one has a whole bunch. Boom. And then I'll just dump this into this other hive here. Okay, so I just have this last frame here. I'll throw it in. Should be good. And then I have 
for my little conversion frames with some uh, worker cell size comb for them. Also got a little bit of resources. Some uh, bee bread and some little patches of honey. So we'll throw those in there. Good. I'll just need my hot tool. Okay, and we'll just section them in here. There we go. This old top cover on. There we go. One is done. Okay, uh oh, made a little uh, nectar spill there, some fresh nectar. So let's just, uh, I'm just gonna do some quick notching just on this one here. Like I mentioned yesterday there, I don't, uh, there doesn't really need to be that much notching. I just wanna kinda give them uh, a few places to make some good big long queen cells but we are going to be coming in and culling them so we don't really need them to make that many queen cells Oops, I'll put on this. well that's just got nothing so let's just use a little smoke I haven't used any yet Just checking these ones for young larvae. Oh, that's that's pretty much all honey and oh yeah, just empty empty cells. And she's they're back filling with nectar, so it's almost like in front of the entrance there is where most of their honey storage is, which is kind of weird because usually. The brood nest is right close to the entrance. That's okay, so let's just close them back up a little bit. There we go. So I think this one had some. Yeah, there's lots on this one, so I'll just get a better view. Whoop. And this is older brood comb, so there's a lot of cocoons in there, so it's kind of hard sometimes for them to draw it out. But I can see basically right where the new larva is. So we'll just do this one right here. There we go. Push that down a little bit. There's a good one. And then we'll do another one over on this side here. Yeah, so that's good. That's good, we'll just do two there. So when we come in, we'll look on this frame here. Actually, now that that's kind of not the center of the brood nest, let's just move this over a little bit. I'm just gonna move it over so that it, there's a, a, a lot of brood around there so that they'll for sure get warmed up in the cluster at night. There we go. Watch 
So can we just close her up now?